the other table. Um, as you can see, the zucchini has definitely exploded. We're still developing pH problems. Um, I added calcium or dolomite and uh, magnesium. And of course, that got the tomatoes going. Look at them. They're as tall as the, the um, trainer. Um, so, just to let you know, I also have a fungus problem that I'm treating with liquid copper fungicide. When I looked up the MSDS, it's the least harmful uh, to humans compared to everything else that I've been trying. So, it's starting to work. You can see where the fungicide died off. But you can also see where it's starting to grow back in some of the leaves. The green beans are producing. Yep. They've got some good green beans running in through there. Um, my mother, of course, wants me to do more green bean plants. Which is fine. I'll see what I can do. My biggest issue right now is trying to get these tomatoes to produce. And the calcium magnesium is going to do that. Um, I do have uh, more things coming up. I believe this is a sunflower. Not sure yet, but uh, it's growing like one. My dill is still growing. Oh, we had a lot of rain too. I don't know if you can see all the love bugs on the table. And understand, I, I tried to rinse them off as best as I could, and uh, they're still making my glorious, wonderful table look ugly. Um, we've got some kale, and that's celery back there. That's not parsley, that's celery. So, I'm happy about that. Remember the guys in the dirt? Would you like to see the difference in the coleus from the dirt? It's uh, grown in the uh, hydroponics. Of course, I transplanted them. Look at that. Look at that. Same day. They were all planted the same day. And they're just going wild. Of course, the lemongrass is ready now to be planted and transplanted. I'm thinking about building a um, um, a box. You can see that the amaranthus is starting to um, heal and grow. Look at all that new growth on there. The ixera didn't seem to like it under the table, so I brought them back over here. Likes it much better. He likes to stay a little wet. Now the cucumbers. <laughs> You can see I'm going to have some problem here. I'm still battling pH. Um, when the pH conditions are correct, though, I want to show you what happens. I don't know if you can see them. There's a nice big cucumber there on top of the shade cloth. Isn't that funny? And there's one right here. And i got several others dispersed in there all over the place. We've got bees, so I'm happy about that. The bees are coming and pollinating. Oh, there he is. Isn't he pretty? Mm-hmm. I got more than that. I got more than that running around here. I just can't seem to find them all. There was another one. Ooh, some more babies. Focus. So, pH is coming back up. It was the rain that did me in. I had perfect pH until it started raining two days ago. And then, of course, this tomato guy, he's trying to reach sunlight. He really is. He's trying to reach up in there. He's somewhere up in there, trying to reach that sunlight. And then I moved one of the green bean plants over here. He didn't like it at first, but he's starting to like it now. Um, I think that's more pepper plant. That's some other type of flower. That looks to me like a kale some more kale back there and that's some more broccoli or something and then I've got my sugar snap peas um, they're starting to trail up the uh, hoop net I got another tomato right there I got some basil I gave one of the basils to my aunt I'm sure she's gonna love having that um, hold on I'm moving again there's the purple basil I transplanted him Look at him, just glorious, flowering and turning purple and everything. I've got some nasturtium, 
Now we've got the thrips trying to take out my nasturtium. I'm going to have to spray them too with the uh, spinazed. Um, I did the same thing with my broccoli cauliflower. And uh, they're doing fine now. I also tra uh, transplanted and took the uh, Napa cabbage from the lettuce tower and brought them over here. They're happy. My peppers are still a little weak. I gotta transplant these guys in the pot before they start blooming too much. So I've gotta do one, two, three, four, five, six, transplants, seven transplants on peppers, not including the ones I already did. Um, the other problem I'm having is the fact that she's grown out of the, the cucumbers grown out of the tower so badly. Um, I don't know if you can see, that's on the other side there, those leaves. She's growing right out of the tower, so I've got some bird netting. And I'm thinking about putting uh, a little, you know, like one of those stuffed animal nets along the top of the hoop net here and see if I can't train this sucker to come across the top. Um, here's some more coleus that I got. My uh, pansy ain't doing too well. I water, of course she's waterlogged now because of all the rain, but I water her fertilizer and she's not happy. I know she likes the shade. Down there I've got uh, flowers. Hold on, let me focus that. I've got flowers that I seeded. And on the top I've got some uh, green onions I'm trying to seed. And what was in that wonderful little ceramic thing, I was trying to do chives, but most of the dirt washed away with the rain. So I don't know what to do there. Now I am going to build some uh, box planters and I'm going to put them along here and on the other side and because um, I'm going to be moving that half cage for the lettuce table and I'm going to have um, box planters. Um, one of the issues that I had with the tables um, I started, before the rains, I started showing excess of uh, flooding. And what was happening was, you know that little drain line? Yeah. All my wonderful roots from these guys and these guys were clogging my drain holes, causing flooding. So, I'll try to show you what I did. It's kind of hard to lift up the table, so I might put you down here for a second. Take a look at that pretty plant. Ooh, I got a cucumber right there. Didn't know I had. Hot doggy. All right, guys, I gotta lift this sucker up. Not <laughs> damaging her. Oh boy. I don't wanna. Uh oh. All right. Here we go. Sturdy enough. Give me a second. There we go. That should be sturdy. Alright. So I had to block my drain hole. And what I did was I took a container that was almost as large or tall as the table. And I drilled a whole bunch of holes in it. I don't know if you can see them. And uh, I put it over the drain hole. There's the drain hole. Yeah, look at those roots. Full of those nasty ass love bugs. But they're glorious. They're beautiful. They're everywhere. Look at them trailing that table. Alright. And there's the venturi trying to work. So, I probably need to do a maintenance and uh, declog them every so often. Baby. Oh, I'm 
table don't want to go down now. Great gravy trains. All right, I'll fix it in a bit. Sorry about that. Anyways, so I that's what I did on this side. On this side, I'm not going to lift it up. But I took, I don't know if you can see it. Damn, love bugs. Nasty. I had a, one of those 4-inch uh, tees that I already had. I put him in there. I'm hoping that works because, you know, it's got the open ends. We'll see. Now, I've had to, this is my magnesium. I've had to add a bunch of magnesium and dolomite. Dolomite's in another container, a uh, five-gallon container. And um, I had to increase it. So what I did was I just eliminated, I didn't take it out, but I eliminated the um, spice jar method. It just wasn't giving me enough. And I made pantyhose method. Those little socks I was telling you about, I think I got them for like three bucks or something, a hundred of them, something like that on eBay. And I put the dolomite in there, and that has raised my pH level, so the plants are going to be happy again. Um, yes, I do have some issues in there with the older leaves dying off, but look at that. Look at that. I have got me some cucumbers, and I've got me a whole bunch more coming in. Oops, hold on, hold on. Look at that growth. We are starting to wonder if we we're going to get any cucumbers, and then all of a sudden, we've got cucumbers, biggins, running around my shop here. I'm very happy about that. Still got tons of flowers, so she's still going to produce more. Um, she's very happy. I haven't gotten anything off of my zucchini yet. I don't think she's big enough. Um, but she keeps producing flowers. So I'm happy about that. Very happy. And she's getting taller and taller. I'm trying to spread out. One of the things I'm going to have to do is take the hoop house and move it out about a foot, foot and a half, maybe two feet. Um, which will decrease the height. I'm kind of worried about the, the cucumbers, but uh, I got I got to be able to walk past the tables. So in a week and a half, there's my growth explosion. Let me see if I can't pull that taut for you. There's my growth explosion. Woo, come on. And it's planning on raining again today. Yay! Boop-dee-doop. So, 